Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, guys. Can you hear me well? Si me escuchan bien, can you hear me well? Good evening. Yeah? Yes, listen. Okay. Okay. So, good evening, guys. Welcome to the class again. Today is Monday, and we are in the week number three, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Okay, Luz, thank you for letting me know. And we're going to start with the class. The first thing we're going to do is go with the attendance. You know that already. So, wait a second. It's going to look for the attendance. Thank you to the people that have the camera on. I really appreciate it. You know that it's very important to have the cameras on. So thank you very much. Okay, I'm gonna go with the attendance. I'm gonna call roll and you say I'm here or present. Okay, um, Ana Gladys Moraga Rodriguez. I'm here. Beatriz Emilet Lucero Perez. I'm here. Concepción de Los Angeles Quintanilla. I'm here. Eh, Hazel Ruth Melara Rivera. Okay. Um, Jose Arnoldo Corea Jovel. Karen Estela Nieto Rodríguez. Carla Patricia Pineda López. Katia Gabriela Hernández García. Present. Ahí está, Katia. Thank you. Luz Angélica Muñoz Bustillo. Present. Eh, Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Mario Sergio Sánchez Sánchez. I'm here. Excellent. Marisela del Carmen Velázquez Diasis. I'm here. Okay. Nelson René Guevara Castro. Rafael Antonio Barrientos Chinchilla. Rafael Antonio. Reina Aura Espinosa de Acuña. I'm here, teacher. Sara Ivette González García. Sonia, wait a second, no. Sonia Janet Martínez de Orellana. Se va conectando. Ok. Um, Stephanie de la Paz, Elaya Serpas. I'm here. Tomás Aivet Ramírez Castillo. Aceite. Judia Beceli Cuellar de Hernández. I'm here. Daisy Yesenia Mezquita Martínez. Iris Joana Cañas Morales. José Mario Cruz Ramírez. I'm here. Zulma Lorena López Rodríguez. Ok. Very good, guys. Let's start. And thank you again to the people with the cameras on. If you don't have the camera on, please dígame por qué no pueden tener the camera on. Otherwise, I will expect sí. you to have the cameras on. De tell me, yeah. No sé si me tomó la asistencia, quizás no me escuchaba. Yeah, yeah, I did. Sí. Don't Yo worry. Yo acabo de entrar, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Yes, I know. Que me acaban de entrar todos ustedes. I know. Where were you? ¿Dónde andaban? A mí no me agarraba. No, me, no podía entrar porque me decía que si era un robot. No sé qué. Oh. <laughs> well, that's weird. Yes. Vaya, le voy a tomar asistencia entonces. Igual nos esperamos a la otra. Wait a second, guys. Les quiero. I want to tell you your grades. So... I don't know if you're working on the platform or if you're not working on the platform. I want you to see your grades. Well, not see, but I'm going to tell you. 
if you are in the unit two, unit one. And I have some people that already finished the platform. So I'm gonna talk about that too. So for example, Ana Gladys finished the platform. Very good, good job, Ana Gladys. Then we have, um, let me see. Katia Gabriel Hernandez finished the platform. Luz Angelica finished the platform. Good job, guys. Let me see who else finished the platform. Stephanie de la Paz. Then Judy. And Tomasa is almost done. So still finishing unit four and the final exam. So congratulations to the people that finished the, the platform. Okay, so congratulations because it's very important that you finish the platform on time. So let me see the ones that are completing the homeworks until unit two. So Beatricia Milet Lucero, yes. Concepción, yes. Estoy leyendo los que tienen el midterm. Daisy, yes. Rina, yes. Hazel, yes. Iris Joana, yes. Jose Arnoldo, yes. Carla Patricia, yes. Yeah, this is the midterm. Yeah, this is the midterm. Um, let me see who else. Katia, yes. Luz, yes. Magdaleno, yes. Mario, yes. Marisela, yes. Let me see the other ones. Rafael, yes. Sara, yes. Sonia, yes. Podría tener mejor nota, pero yes. Stephanie de la Paz, yes. Tomasa, yes. And Judy, yes. This is, these are the people that finish the section two in the midterm, okay? Si no los mencioné, significa que no llegaron al midterm. Y no tengo sus notas. Por lo tanto, no las pasé al Insaforp. Because I need to have your grades. ¿Y qué pasa hoy? ¿Qué pasa con esas cámaras el día de hoy? What's going on? Teacher, yo hasta ayer pude entrar a la plataforma. Ajá, pero ya vi que avanzó bastante. Sí. <laughs> Ajá, that's very good. That's, that's excellent, actually. So, good job. Ajá. Solo en, en el examen me, me he quedado. Ahí ok. Me, me... But it's okay. You're, you're still working. But I want to ask you guys. I have only Rina, Tomasa, Stephanie, Katia, Beatriz, Judy, Rafael, and Sonia with the camera on. What happened to the other people? I know that Luz is driving, so Luz can have the camera off. And that's it. What about the other ones? Hmm. ¿Por qué no tienen cámaras encendidas? Lo comprobamos identidad. Ok, let's start. Ahí depende de ustedes, guys. Si encienden la camarita, ustedes saben que no hay ningún problema cuando hay auditoría. Si no encienden la cámara, muy probablemente va a existir un problema si existe auditoría para usted. So, como consejo, para su conveniencia, turn on the camera. Si dice, no, a mí nunca me han auditado. You'll see, guys. You'll see. What did I do? Okay, what did I do? It's 28. Let me see something, guys, that I'm looking here. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, yes, we're ready. Let me show you here the class we have for today. And this is the one. So this is video conference number 12, how to use should and should not, okay? How to use should, remember is should, is not chul or chul, is should, should, should not, should and should not. So, and the date, can you help me read the date please? Nelson. Okay. 
the conference number no 12. the date the date uh, uh, uh -huh. Date ah a Monday October um, mm -hmm. seventeen is seventeen seventeen or eighteen oh espera me espera me que casi no lo visualizo es uh, hoy sí okay. se me congeló la pantalla Monday October eighteenth ah no visualizo enero, me parece la pantalla. Oh, really? Pero repita conmigo entonces. Okay. Monday, October 18th. Monday, October 18th. 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 2021. 2021. Excellent. Can you help me read the topic, Beatriz? Hello, teacher. The topic? Uh, video conferencia number 12. How do you sh sure? Should. Sure and sure not. Should not. Should. Should sure not. No, sure. no it's sure. Listen to me, guys. Should. <laughs> should. 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 Mm -hmm. sure. Let so, me show you guys the pronunciation. Thank you very much, Beatriz. So, so, so. El baby estaba repitiendo ya. <laughs> so you see, that's the baby. This is the pronunciation. This is the correct pronunciation. Listen, guys. Should. Look here. Should. Should. Oh, no. I'm not sharing the... Oh, yes, I'm sharing some. Should. Should. Should, 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 slow. Should, 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 should. Yo repitiendo como que yo fuera el estudiante, esperando que mis estudiantes estén en la misma. Okay. Should, 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 should. That's the pronunciation we're going to be practicing today a lot. The topic for today is should and should not. Okay, so we're going to go to the pronunciation practice really quick because then we have the topic. So the pronunciation practice for today is this one. The blue bird. The, uh, okay, so I'm mistaken too. <laughs> Listen carefully. The blue, blue bird. The blue, blue bird blinks. Yo repitiendo mis estudiantes. Hello. The blue blue bird blinks. Yes. The blue, the blue blue bird. The blue, the blue blue bird blinks. The blue bird blinks. No, the blue bird. The, the blue blue bird blinks. The blue blue bird blinks. The blue blue bird bird. Listen to me. It's Blue bird. Don't say blue beer. Don't say blue beer. It's blue bird. Blue bird. Blue bird. Blue bird. Okay. Did you take a screenshot already? So we're going to do the pronunciation practice. Read it. Please. The blue, blue bird blinks. The blue, blue bird Blinks. Blinks. The blue blooper blinks. The blue blooper. There you go. Perdió la invitación. Did you lose the invitation? Yeah. Katia. A mí no me llegó, teacher, o moví algo, no sé. Yes, maybe. Vale, la voy a mover a este, pero no sé una ahí porque esa no es su. Eh, no es la suya. Esa es la suya. Ok, gracias. That's yours. Ok.
Hello, hello. Oh my goodness, what happened? Oh yeah, you just connected. Okay, hey Cell. So let me assign you to a room. I'm gonna send you to a room. Okay. Okay. Okay, la voy a mandar solo de oyente, Sara. Just listen. The blue blue bear blinks. The blue blue bear blinks. What is that? Ah. The blue blue bear blinks. Ya iba a sonar. The blue blue bird blinks. 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 The blue blinks. The blue blue bird blinks. Repítelo, Marisela. Sorry, Mario. The A blue, blue, bear, blue. Okay, thank you. Continue, Mario. Sorry. The blue, blue bird blinks. 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 The blue blue bear 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 blinks. Blue bear blinks. The blue blue bird, the blue blue bird blinks. 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 The blue blue 
de Blue Blue Berlin. Tres veces se le oye. The blue bird blink. The blue bird blink. The blue blue bird blink. The blue bird blink. Blue blue bird blink. Como que se están ahogando. Blue 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 blue. No baja el agua. Están blub, 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 Hello, hello again. Okay, so yes, we were practicing. That was a quick practice, and it was like a practice of blah, 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 right? So we were practicing a lot, the blah, 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 blah. And remember, when you're saying words in English, you don't mention the R like really strong. So you're not going to say birds. It's going to be birds, birds birds okay the blue blue birds blink bird blinks now something else it was blue 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 no sé si ustedes saben el chiste del gato que se ahogó in english no no teacher que como se dice el gato se ahogó en inglés no ah the sí, gato yeah, <laughs> yeah 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 exactly Solo Ana Gladys que dice, the cat cataplum in the water, glu, 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 en no more, en no more, miau, miau, miau. <ríe> o sea, se murió. <ríe> My God, guys, ¿por qué la mayoría tiene la cámara apagada? What's going on? Mitad It's de la clase. Like yeah, Mi pero ustedes tienen que comprobar identidad. My goodness. Yes. Ok, so, let me... mi internet, teacher, mi internet se vuelve lento y yo, yo escucho cortado. 
si la enciende. Sí, si la enciendo, entonces yo prefiero mantenerla apagada. Ah, ok. Thank you for letting me know. Que teacher está lloviendo por aquí, es cierto. San Miguel. Sí, está lloviendo. Really? Llovió también, sí. Ahorita está lloviendo. Ah, y okay. estuvo lloviendo al mediodía también, bien fuerte. So maybe it's going to rain here later. Yes. What is it, Stephanie? Aquí también está lloviendo. In San Salvador. Sí, toda yeah, la tarde lloviendo. Yeah, here in some places it's raining in the afternoon too. But anyways, okay, let's continue. So guys, now we're going to discuss some questions that I have here for you. Let's see the questions. So we have one question and three examples that we need to mention. The first question is, does your company have regulations 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 about employees behavior 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 okay does your company have regulations about employees behavior okay so sus compañías tienen regulaciones para 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 el comportamiento de los empleados does your company have regulations about employees behavior You can say, yes, it does. No, it doesn't. And now it says here, name three, three, not three, three examples of unacceptable, unacceptable behavior, behavior is comportamiento, behavior in your company. So can you tell me some examples of unacceptable unacceptable behavior in your companies? Okay, think about it. Y me los envíen al chat. Send it to the chat. Tres examples de un comportamiento inaceptable, inadecuado en los empleados. It can be uh, wearing shorts. Um, I don't know, not wearing the uniform. Que no utilice el uniforme. Um, I don't know what else can be smoking inside the building. Smoking inside the building can be another one. Um, what else can be um, playing loud music in the office? Uh, I don't know. Many, many unacceptable behaviors. Just send me three to the chat. I'm going to be reading. I'm going to be reading. Did you understand the activity? Yes. Yes. Okay, excellent. I'm waiting. Okay, thank you, Katia. Yeah, 
another one, Jose Mario. Yes. Yell at the boss, I think is inappropriate behavior anywhere. Smoking the facility. Oh, but um, Jose Arnoldo is with W I T H with is not with is with. Okay. And you can say, don't wear clothes with any propaganda. Propaganda, the same word. Really, red hair is inappropriate. Okay. No hay basureros adentro de las oficinas. No, teacher. For a campaign, como le dicen, campaña. Campaign. Campaign of UGB Verde. Oh, yeah, it's true. Green UGB, yes, true. Remember. Okay. During business hours, not having romantic. Yeah, not having relation, romantic relationship between partners. Yes, that's true. Spec coworkers. Porque después hay dramas. An appropriate vocabulary will be better. Where do you work, Iris? Que le dan regalos de $100. Oh my goodness, I want to go there. Interesting. Okay. Está bien interesante sus cosas. It's very interesting. Wallets cannot be entered. No pueden llevar the carteritas at like to your workplace. What? Why? Porque no les dejan llevar la, la billetera. Wallets. Yeah, but una bien común is receive gift. Rina, tell me. Es la cartera, la, la de. Se cuelga de uno. Oh, no podemos entrar. That's Se deja un casillero afuera. Oh, ok. Ok, entiendo. Ok. Yes, I see a very common one that says receiving gift from customers. That's inappropriate. Well, yeah. That can be inappropriate. Okay, now that you have your examples, you're gonna go and you're gonna ask this question to your classmates. So for example, you have here, I hope you take a screenshot, take a screenshot, please. Please, please, please. So you're gonna ask your classmates, does your company have regulations about employees behavior? The answers can be, yes, it does. No, it doesn't, okay? Name three examples of unacceptable behavior in your company. And you're going to mention the examples that you sent me to the chat. Así que si no los tienen, copienlos porque esos examples los van a ir a dar a sus break rooms. And talk about it, guys. Talk about this in English. Uh, give an example when someone did it. Remember, try to speak as much English as you can. That's very, very, very important. Why? Because we are learning English and I told you we're like babies. So we have to do it. We have to practice and we have to speak English as much as we can. Yeah, using bad words, swearing. Um, malas palabras también se puede decir como swearing. Swearing, okay? So yeah, that's inappropriate. Let me see. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go and practice.
Hello, Luz. You're home already? Está conectada a dos dispositivos. Yes, that's better. So, did you understand the activity we're doing? Or no, not? teacher. Ah, okay. Entrando a la casa. Ah, okay. So, your classmates are talking about this. So, if your company has regulations about employees' behavior, and if you can name three examples of unacceptable behavior in your company. So, for example, your classmates were talking about you cannot receive gifts from customers or you cannot take money from customers, you cannot have red hair, you cannot wear shorts. So the regulations in your company, okay? So you're gonna give three examples about that. Yes? So I'm gonna send in, here, here it comes Magdalena, oh my goodness. Hello teacher. Super early Magdalena, oh my goodness. So sorry, I am working, today. I am working still. Oh, you're still working. Are you driving? Yes, I am oh. driving. Okay, be careful. The way but, I'm getting but this in, in 15 minutes, I am in how I am. I, I, I will be, I will be, in, casa. I will be in, in my be house. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. So, I was in the group of the. Morada, Ana Gladys. Ana Gladys. No me acuerdo quién. Vaya, pero espérenme, le voy a mandar a otro mejor todavía. Okay. There you go. Magdalena, lo voy a mandar de, de listening, ¿ok? Listener. Maricela, are you there? Maricela. Hello, Beatriz. Hello, Beatriz. What happened, Beatriz? Hello. What happened? Uh, in what break room were you? Entrando y me sacó ya no me fijé quiénes estaban sin un repudí. Ah, okay. So I'm going to send you to the number two. Okay. There you go.
¿Cómo, cómo, ¿Maldijo? ¿Cómo se llama qué? Perdón, me perdí. Es que dijo, ¿cómo se llama? No sé qué, no lo entendí. Ah, no voy a pronunciar justificación o justification. Sí, se dice. Ah. Justification. ¿Cómo? Just. Ya. Yeah. Gracias. ¿Quién falta? Hey, Seb. Hey, Hazel. Sí, Hazel. <ríe> ya ve que no me pusieron atención, fue de las primeras que ya lo dije. <ríe> lo siento, yo siento que no puse atención. Be for work. Eh, vocabulario incorrect y no work no wording uniform co correctly mm, is a work in a, is a company small es una pequeña compañía, es una pequeña compañía, no hay mucha, como que Small company. normal, ajá, es alguna, ser, smartphone, um, during, jornada laboral, work journey, or, work journey, work journey, um, o puede decir simplemente during work hours. Ok. During work hours. Use a smartphone during work hours. Correct. Eh, don't, wear, don't wear a, a tie. Es corbata, ¿verdad? Yes, that's correct. And don't use Camisa manga larga. Long sleeve shirt. Long sleeve shirt. Long sleeve sh shirt. Shirt. Mm -hmm. Ok. Um, quiero ver. Tenemos así nuestra, nuestra eh, labor station. Eh, si un... Uh, me voy a tratar de decirlo en inglés. If some co-worker had a call and the other people is speaking or loud, eh, it's not too good. <laughs> o sea, es como si alguien más está hablando con otros compañeros y alguien más está en llamada, no, no es muy agradable para ellos. Es como que se distraen. Ajá, ajá. Se distancia de lo que está haciendo. Ajá, ajá. Entonces, mm. pues esa sería la primera. La segunda es not wearing uh, uniforms mm -hmm. y being rude to patients. Um, ¿Cómo ser groseros?
not follow an order. No seguir una orden. No follow an order. Three, to be late for work. Llegar tarde al trabajo. To be late for work. Ya. Hoy sí. Sí, porque las tradujo, Katia. Es que no, no me entendía, Rafa. Hoy, hoy pregunte usted, Rafa. Ok, José Mario. Does your company have regulation about employees? Are you not good? Yeah. What is it? Hola. Ah, if a uh, running error is used for breaking the rules. Um, no, pero la primera le dijo. Does your company have regulations about be employees' behavior? Regulaciones sobre el comportamiento de los empleados. Si tiene su compañía, usted diría sí o no. Mm. Yes. Yes, it does. Ok. Name three examples of unacceptable behavior in your company. Los que me mandó el chat, José. Mm. Okay, let's call roll. Let's go with the attendance one more time. Let me see. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see the people. You're still in the breaker rooms. 
Ok, there we go. Ana Gladys Moraga Rodríguez. I'm here, teacher. Beatriz Yamilet Lucero Pérez. I'm here. Concepción de Los Ángeles Quintanilla. I'm here. Hazel Ruth Melara Rivera. I'm here. José Arnoldo Corea Jovel. I'm here. Karen Estela Nieto Rodríguez. Carla Patricia Pineda López. I'm here. Um, Katia Gabriel Hernández García. I'm here. Luz Angélica Muñoz Bustillo. I'm here. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. I'm here, teacher. Mario Sergio Sánchez Sánchez. I'm here. Maricela del Carmen Velázquez Diasis. Nelson René Guevara Castro. I'm here. Nelson, you're going to stay with me today, okay? Uh, okay. Sí, okay. yes. Yes. Um, Rafael Antonio Barriendo Chinchilla. I'm here. Rina Aura Espinosa de Acuña. I'm here. Sara Ivette González García. I'm here. Sonia Janet Martínez de Orellana. I'm here. Stephanie de la Paz Elaya Serpas. I'm here. Tomás Ivette Ramírez Castillo. I'm here. Okay. Judy Araceli Cuellar de Hernández. I'm here. Dais, Dais y Yesenia Mezquita Martínez. I'm here. Iris Joana Cañams Morales. I'm here. José Mario Cruz Ramírez. I'm here. And Surma Lorena López Rodríguez. Okay, very good. Now, guys, we're going to go with the main topic we have for today. Today, it's should and shouldn't. So these words are like auxiliary verbs or modal verbs, I would say, that have a special meaning. So, for example, we use should and shouldn't to give advices, to talk about obligations, so I'm going to show you some examples of how can we use should and shouldn't. Should is for something that you need to do and shouldn't is for something that you like don't do. So for example, in the regulations that you were talking about, we have we can say you should listen, you should wear wear uniform to work. Then you can use should. You should wear uniform to work. Now let's talk about a shouldn't, something negative. So you shouldn't take money from customers. Yes, you shouldn't take money from customers. And if you see, I'm using should and I'm using other verbs. I'm going to show you a conversation where they are using should and shouldn't. And then I'm going to explain to you specifically what it means. So see, here we have a conversation, it says, Claudia, and in here you can see it, should not, should, should not, should. So I'm gonna read this conversation for you. I'm gonna read it for pronunciation and then I'm gonna read it for intonation. I can't, guys, be careful with this word. You need to be very careful with this word because the affirmative is can and the negative is can't. So it's almost the same if you listen to the pronunciation. Affirmative, can. Negative, can't. Can. Okay? So be careful. Just make can. sure that you said can't. Yeah. Have a doubt. Mm -hmm. when, when I use can like uh, auxiliary verbs, I can use can. When I, when I am using can, for, for example, I can, I don't know, I can take this, I can eat. I can't mm -hmm. eat, is uh, correct? I can't eat. And you're talking about negative, can't eat? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's correct. Okay. Can is always an auxiliary, never a main verb. 
is always an auxiliary because when you say can, you need to say uh, an activity. You see, we, I can dance, we, I can eat. Uh huh. When but is it, uh -huh. a main verb, I. You don't use it as a main do. verb. It's, it's never a main verb. Never. Okay, I understand. Because you, if you. you say I can, I can guitar, doesn't have doesn't make sense. So you say need to say I can play the guitar, and you're using play as a, the main verb. So can is just an auxiliary. Oh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And can guys is affirmative can, but then we have can't that is negative. So be careful with that pronunciation. I can't. I can't. I can't, y ustedes repitiendo en sus casas, no solo yo. I can't, ajá. I can't. Ajá. I can't. My goodness. Wait a second. Que voy a aumentarles las camaritas para verles la carita a todos cómo están doing the pronunciation. Yo soy una computadora de, de pantalla bien grande. So, aquí le pego a ustedes y aquí veo lo demás. So, I can't believe. Remember, B, B, the first one is like B. But the other one, live, live, remember, pronunciations, B and V. So I can believe, believe, look, look at me, B, believe. I can't believe it. So these words, look, look here. You're going to use them together, together. This is going to be, uh, this is going to be like something you join, believe it. Believe it, believe it. So I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted, addicted. Remember with the ED rules, in this case, we're gonna say addicted because the last letter here is T, so addicted. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? See him, you're right. Listen here. He should not, should, remember, should. Don't say chul or shoul or chule. I don't know. It's should. Should. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. 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 That is not polite. That is not polite. He should answer, answer. He should answer his messages, messages after. Okay, guys, this one. Answer. Don't say answer, 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 answer. No, it's answer, answer, answer. Okay. He should answer, answer. his messages after the meetings. And we should not talk. Remember, talk is not talk, it's talk. We should not talk about him but this you're gonna say it together listen about him about him about him about him that's not polite and what is the meaning of polite if you remember polite es amable. exactly okay that's not polite either 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 okay either agree so I agree. Estoy de acuerdo. Agree. Eso significa cuando dicen agree. I agree o agree significa estoy de acuerdo. I agree o agree. No se me duerman. We should help him. We should help him instead. Instead. Instead significa en lugar de. Instead. Instead. Okay. Do you need me to repeat a word? Or I can go with intonation. Teacher. Teacher. Mm -hmm. is, Go ahead. Uh, is a uh, sure. Should. Uh, sure. Should. Sure. No, should. Should. 
Like S H U D should. Aquí se las, uh, aquí se las busqué si sí, se las mencioné antes. Aquí está, esperen un ratito. Let me show you. Es this one. Hacerle el, el sonido, ¿se acuerdan? Should. Es should. Ah, uh -huh. should. 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 Uh -huh. should. Uh -huh. yeah. Let me should. see. Okay, like that. Should. Okay. Should. Should. Mm. Should. should. Okay, Margaret, okay. sorry. Yes, teacher. Um, excuse me, please correct me. Mm -hmm. Should, should is a verb like have. For example, you have to be polite. Exactly. It's, it's like a modal that. verb. It's a modal verb. Mm. Okay. It's like need. It's like need, for example. You need to work. But in this case, the only thing different, Magdaleno, is that with need and have, you need to add to, okay? Because you need to work. But with should, we don't use another to to give, uh, para dar lección, to give it an action to the verb because it's a modal verb. Y un verbo modal no necesita otra acción, okay? So for example, when we say can, I can help you. You don't say, you don't say I can to help you, it's incorrect. So the same with should. Should like a modal verb, it's like you should help. You don't use the two. Okay, it's clear that the, the main verb don't need uh, the infinitive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh, yes, but the third person neither. Look, look here. He should answer. He should answer. Ah. Mm -hmm. with, with modal verbs, so this is very important. With modal verbs, we don't use the third person and we don't use the infinitive. For example, I can say, ella puede bailar, and I can say, she can dance. I don't say she can or she can dance. Okay? In that case, it doesn't follow the rule of the third person, singular third person. Is it clear? Yeah, that is clear. Okay, excellent, very good. Thank you. Continue then. So if you don't need me to repeat any words, I'm gonna go with intonation. Porque ya se me están durmiendo ahí, hasta me pagaron la cámara. I can't believe it. Remember, con esa entonación, no, I can't believe it. Intonation, I can't believe it. Como que no se lo puede creer de verdad. Ay, ya viste. I can't believe it. Robert, is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in the meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should help him instead. I'm going to repeat it one more time. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should help him instead. Okay. What does it mean either? Either, tampoco. Por eso, guys, cuando ustedes van a decir yo tampoco, no digan me too. Como dicen, I don't like chocolate. No me gusta el chocolate. Y otra persona dice me too. Él es como que dijeron, a mí no me gusta el chocolate. A mí también. A mí también, ¿qué? So, ustedes tienen que decir a mí tampoco. Me so, es me either o me neither. ¿Cómo? Me either. Me either o me neither. También se puede con N. Me neither or me either. Cualquiera de los dos, pero no digan me too. No tiene sentido decir yo también cuando le están diciendo algo negativo, right? So say me either o me neither. Como que aquí dijeran, that's not polite too. Eso no es eh, amable también. No, tampoco. Agree, we should help him instead. What did I say that is the meaning of agree? Do you remember? I told you the meaning of agree. 
De acuerdo. Exactly, that's what it is. So, did you take the screenshots already? Yeah, no. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Claro que yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, I'm going to send you. Yes, teacher. Work. Let's see. Uh, some groups are going to have people that are working. So, for example, Sara is working. So, be careful there with Sara because Sara is working. Let me see, let me see, let me see. There we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me see something, guys. Okay, let's go. You're practicing a conversation right now. That you have the invites.
you see him? You why should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely, that is not polite. Yes, uh, he should answer is massage after the meeting and we should no no it's not talk uh, about him that let's 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 not talk let not as let not talk let's let mm -hmm. about him that not polite either I will be so help him either. I can believe it Robert is addicted to his phone did you see him okay I can Boy. believe it uh -huh. Robert is addicted to his phone did you see him? You, you're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings and we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. I agree. We should help him instead. In Ash. Instead. Agree. Instead. Instead. Okay. Instead. Uh, brother, I agree. We should help him instead. Better. Thank you. Okay. I can't believe it. Robert. Is addicted to his phone. His is... phone. His phone. His. Recuerda que la H es como una J. His phone. His phone. Uh -huh. Did you see him? That's not polite either. I did. We should help him instead. Him, help him. Him. Help you, we him. should help him. We should help, help him, him instead. Instead. Mm -hmm. I can believe it. Robert is addicted to help, not to his phone. Do you sing him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his message at the meeting. And messages. Message. Me, me, messages. Messages. Así. Messages. Me, ah, messages. Chess. Chess. Yes. Chet. O como. No. No, ay, me está diciendo algo malo. No. Ay, ¿Y por qué se ría? Porque lo sabe, ¿verdad? Bien, sí. No, messages. Messages. Ma, eh, no. Oh es mes, messages. No, ma, no, me, va, repite conmigo. Me. Me. Sa. Sa. Yes. Yes. Ah, messages. Yes, better. Right. I see. Yes, I guess. <laughs> After the meeting, and
So, guys, you saw shoot there, like something, shoot is not like a really, really, really obligation, but it's more like an advice. Something that is a, an advice that you should do it, something that is really important that you do or you don't, but it's not like super mandatory, okay? So we're gonna see now what is this. So should and shouldn't, should and shouldn't. Okay, shouldn't is like this shouldn't, but you can say like should not, like in the conversation, should not. But the abbreviation is shouldn't, okay? Shouldn't. Okay, can you help me read this, Luz? Um, okay, should and shouldn't. We use should and shouldn't to give advice or talk or to talk about what we think is right or wrong. You should mean something like, I think it is a good idea for you to do it. You shouldn't means something like, I think it is a bad idea for you to do it. Thank you very much, Luz. So exactly, guys. Should is more like an advice, something that you think a person should do or shouldn't do. Let's see some examples here. So this is like you have recommendations, advice, and obligation. It's not like mandatory, I was telling you, but we can use it for obligations and for an expectation. So we have four examples there. The first one is recommendation. The second one is an advice. And what is an advice? Remind me, what is an advice? An Consejo. Exactly, exactly. Advice. Sugerencia. Exactly, also, also. Obligation and expectation. The other ones are pretty common in Spanish too. Okay, so help me read in the number one, please. The advice number one, Katia. You should drink water every day. Excellent, thank you very much. Rina. He should study for this test tomorrow. Thank you. Tomasa. It should, it should buy a grill for my mother. Repeat this letter. It should. Oh, oh, oh okay. ¿Cómo se dice esta letra en inglés? Ay. Ay. Ay, ok. I so la lo... buy a gift for, me, for my mother. Excellent. That's better, Tomás. Thank you very much. Let's go. <laughs> it's ok. Let's go now with Jose Mario. They should be home by now. Here. Here will be now. By now. No, eso está correcto, by now, but here. By now. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Jose Mario. So yes, they should be here by now. So this is an expectation. This is an obligation. This is an advice. And this is a recommendation, okay? recommendation okay guys so remember we shouldn't shouldn't we're just giving advices for example let's think about the covid some things that we should and shouldn't do so it's not obligation but we should wear a face mask outside of our houses yes or no we should wear a face mask yeah. yes yeah. something yeah. we shouldn't do we shouldn't go to crowded, crowded as multitudes, we shouldn't go to crowded places, right? We shouldn't go yes. to crowded places. Maybe we do it, maybe we don't, but we shouldn't do it. We should, what else? Tell me something that we should do about COVID. Uh, we should use la mascarilla. Face mask. No uh -huh. se dice use, se dice wear. Wear. Vestir, ajá. 
where. Mm -hmm. uh, teacher, toda, everything that uh, that in the this clothes and accessories are where. Yes, and also everything, everything you put in your body is wear. So for example, wear makeup, mm -hmm. wear perfume, wear lotion, necklace. wear necklace. necklace. Yes. It's wear too. Yes, everything is wear. On your body, everything is wear. Mm, okay, thank mm -hmm. you. So for example, I wear makeup or I don't wear makeup. You know what is makeup, right? Maquillaje. Exactly. That is something you wear. Earrings, for example, earrings is something you wear. Necklace, watch, everything is wear. So face mask is wear. Okay. How do we say alcohol gel in English? I told you. Ya les había dicho. Ya se me olvidó. Oh my goodness. Nobody remembers. <gasps> Mi fracaso como teacher en este grupo. Oh, my God. It's hen. 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 Ni dándoles la primera palabra. Van a decir nada. Oh, my Eco God. Hall. No. It's hen. Sa sanitizer. Yes. Oh, my God. Hen sanitizer. Hen sanitizer. I don't remember uh, I listened to you say, but no, I think maybe... I said it in the first module. Oh, okay, okay, I'm not. Yeah. But hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer. That is the question. I, uh, I wasn't in the first module with you. Voy a volver a ver así a los que estuvieron en el primer módulo conmigo. Y se quitan. <laughs> <laughs> It's health sanitizing. Hen, like hen, hen, sanitizer, sanitizer, hen. yes, hen sanitizer. Hen oh, sanitizer. No, in other words, como sanitizador de manos, pero recuerden que en español la palabra sanitizador no existe. La creamos nosotros, la inventamos. So it's hen sanitizer, yes, like that. Okay, so about COVID, listen here. To use the should and shouldn't, we're gonna need a subject. We're gonna need the should or shouldn't. In any case, okay. Then we're gonna need a verb and the verb needs to be in the base form. And we're gonna need a complement. This is the rule for should and shouldn't. Repeat again, you're gonna need a subject, should and shouldn't, the verb in the base form, and you're gonna need a complement. This is the rule you're gonna use, like that. Now, based on that rule, we're gonna make some statements. So the first one, give me a subject, tell me a subject. Marcos. Marcos, should or shouldn't? Should. Okay, Marcos should what? Uh, run every morning. Okay, Marcos should run every morning. Marcos should run every morning. It's not something that is mandatory, but it's an advice that I'm giving to Marcos or I'm saying about Marcos because Marcos may be feeling bad. Marcos may be sedentary. Like he's not, like he works from home. He doesn't do exercise. So I'm telling Marcos, Marcos should run every morning. This is an advice that I'm giving to the person. Give me another subject, guys. Pero no todos al mismo tiempo porque se, el, creo que se traba el okay, audio. No, my no. sister. Ok, my sister. Ok. Shouldn't. 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 Uh, uh, okay. Be rude. Be rude. Oh, be rude. Be rude. 
with uh, her, her, uh, her boyfriend. Shouldn't be root two. In this two. case, it's going to okay. be two, her boyfriend. Two, her boyfriend. Okay. Dígale que no lo trate mal, oh my goodness. It's okay. an example. It's an, it's example. an example. It's an example. Okay. My sister shouldn't be rude to her boyfriend. So you see, guys, here I'm using the rules. This is the subject. Subject. This is should or shouldn't. The verb in the base form. The verb in the base form. You see, porque es el verbo en forma base. Se fijan. Entonces no dijimos my my sister shouldn't is, verdad? Dijimos no dijimos shouldn't is. El verbo base de is es el verbo to be. So, se fijan cómo estamos utilizando la base del verbo, la base, la principal. So, my sister shouldn't be rude to her boyfriend. Okay, so now that we have that there, let me say something. I want you to tell me three things that you should do in the class and three things you shouldn't do in the class, okay? You're gonna tell me, not me, you are going to tell me three things you should do in the class, three things you shouldn't do in the class. No, no three, four, van a ser ocho oraciones. Four, four things you should do and four things you shouldn't do in the class. Les voy a mandar a participar en groups. Let me see si me gustan estos. This is good. This, okay, let's go. Four and four. Four things you should do, four things you shouldn't do. Four and four in the class.
era para hacerlo en grupo, en lo individual. Oh, ok, eran ocho de todos. Yes, exacto. Ah, no, para que lo voy a mandar a grupo a hacer un, grupo a hacer un trabajo individual. <ríe> oh my goodness. Ok. Bueno, ya las terminé. Eh, Armelas entre todos, like, mini okay. tengo este, ¿cuál ponemos? Va, ok. Yo solo puse, I shouldn't eat during class. I shouldn't turn off my camera. Uh -huh, I should. Um. Pero como lo estamos haciendo en grupo, podríamos decir, we, we should, shouldn't. Or we shouldn't, we shouldn't. right? We shouldn't not me. We shouldn't miss class. We shouldn't eat in class. How do you we say burlarse? We should bear. Make fun. Make fun. Es burlarse. Make fun. We should pay attention. We should finish that task. It is correct, teacher. Yeah, task. the tasks son como actividades. Si quiere decir más específicamente tareas, sería homeworks. Okay. We should sell goals. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, repeat that again. We should sell goals. ¿Qué quiere decir ahí? Eh, Debería ponerme metas. Set goals. Set goals. Set goals. Yes, set goals. Yes. Yes, that's correct. Pero las están haciendo together, right? Yes. Yes. We should speak in the class. Full name. We should in show. Pero no deberíamos mostrar el nombre completo. Claro que yes. Si no sabe. debería, pero. Queremos decir lo contrario. Que no tenemos que pero... el nombre corto o, o incompleto. Ajá. Ah, we should have. We shouldn't have incomplete, incomplete name. Incomplete. Oh, we shouldn't show incomplete name. Incomplete, mm -hmm. incomplete. Ahí búsquenlo, ahí está. Mm -hmm. Incomplete name. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't sleep in class. Oh. También no comer en clase. Ajá, sería. Y eso siempre lo hacen. No lo voy a dejar comer, teacher. pero siempre comen, oh my goodness. Y también tomamos té. Ah, no, pero el té, ¿por qué yo me canto? No, teacher, todas en la cama o todos en el suelo. Yo lo dejo tomar té. ¿Ah? Yo lo dejo tomar té si quieren, pero se me ponen con un plato de carne asada, de repente ah, con un chocobanano eh, y yo me quedo pan, como un pan dulce con café. Pan dulce con pan y está chuponeando enfrente de la cámara y ahí ya son otras cosas. <risa> Churro con soda. Y ahí partiendo la carne en plena clase. No. Sí, ay, más que dam. Y no, no partiendo primeros. la carne con el, con el cuchillo que hagan sí. afuera, sino que con los dientes. <risa> Gran jalón de la carne. <risa> yes. Ay, no. Yo le puse, I, I shouldn't, yo le puse, I shouldn't text in class. Entonces no es texting, es text. Yo digo, si no hay que no corrió la teacher. No, ahora. el verbo era en su forma base o iba con gerundios. ¿Qué dice la regla? Vaya, entonces text. 
Exacto. Vaya, mire, teacher, esto es lo que yo le decía el día que, que me quedé con usted, mire. Uh -huh. We should repeat after our teacher. Entonces ahí no sé si es el teacher o es la teacher. After our teacher is correct. Ajá, pero... Y, ¿y también puede decir after the teacher. ¿Y cómo, ah, ¿cómo sé, sé que, que está hablando, hablando del femenino de y masculino? Ah, por contexto. Ahí no existe eso. No, no hay manera. No, ahí no. es por contexto. Uh -uh. Sí, porque yo siempre en oraciones como esta me doy lati, está hablando de un niño o de una niña. Ajá, no, ahí no, ahí no, no existe eso en inglés. Ajá, ah, ok. Esa uh -huh. era mi pregunta la, la vez pasada. Sí, sí, pero no existe, eso sí, no existe en inglés. Ok, vaya, faltan sí, dos. Y en español hasta las cosas tienen género, ¿verdad? Ajá, ah, correcto, hasta las cosas. Hasta las nubes, son las nubes. Correcto, a saber quién decidió que iba a ser femenino y no masculino, I don't know, pero así decidieron. Ajá. ¿Y aquí hicieron trabajo grupal o trabajo individual? Grupal. Ah, okay. No, no falta. Ah, ok, ok. Ya, yo ya tengo las cuatro de... ¿Cuál puso? Shouldn't talk in class. La última que dijo Sonia. Ah, shouldn't talk, talk uh -huh. in the class. Okay, y hoy no lo había notado. Practicamos. Yeah. Okay. I should pay attention. I should practice in class. I should make the homework. Well, hello. So let's see your answers. Let's see, let's see. Qué rápido vuelven, oh my goodness. Why do you come so fast? Why are you so happy now? You look different. You're excited because you're going to bed. Right? Right, teacher. You're going to bed. Yes, I know you're tired working and then yes and then classes 
but every effort has its perks. Cada esfuerzo tiene sus, sus ventajas, sus recompensas. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. One day, one day, you will see. Okay, so let me see. Beatriz, Katia, and Luz Angelica. Tell me one should and one shouldn't. Just one. Uh -huh. One of should and one and shouldn't. Okay, uh, we construct uh, this um, sentence. Uh -huh. um, we shouldn't uh, be distracted in classes. Uh -huh. And we, sh Katia, <laughs> can I see that? We shouldn't eat in class. Oh, and but digamos el should, uno de should. Should. I, we should practice with the teacher. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now okay. let's go with the group of Daisy, Tomasa, and Judy. One should and one shouldn't. Rapidito. Uno de should y uno de shouldn't. I should pay attention. Okay. Y digamos uno de shouldn't. We shouldn't no. We shouldn't make fun uh, of college of classmates. Sería classmates. Of, of classmates. No deberíamos burlarnos de nuestros classmates. Yes, very good. Thank you. Let's go with the group of Ana Gladys, José, Arnoldo, Nelson, René, and and Rafael, Antonio. One shouldn't. One shouldn't. We should connect early to the class. Okay, that's a good one. Porque a las ocho la teacher pasa la asistencia. Uh -huh. we And the shouldn't? We shouldn't have incomplete names. No deberíamos tener nombres incompletos. That's something that is true. Thank you. Let's go with the next group. The next group is Hazel, Magdaleno, Sara, Stephanie. One shouldn't, one shouldn't. Y el de eat en clase también me lo pusieron, ¿verdad? We shouldn't eat en clases. Me lo pusieron. Seré yo, señor. Ajá. Seré yo. Ajá. Ok. <risa> We shouldn't eat en clase. Good example, Magdalena. Thank you. Uh -huh. Ok. <risa> ok. Who else? Next. Dígame el we should. We should not in class. We should not eat in class. Y ahora dígame el de we should. ¿Quién me lo va a decir? Quickly. Sara, Hazel, Stephanie. Sara, Hazel, Stephanie. Negativo me dijo, ¿verdad? No, afirmative. Afirmative. Um, I should repeat after our teacher. Excellent. That's a good one, too. We should repeat after the teacher. That is true. Let's go with the last group. Is Carla, Mario, Rina, Sonia. Dígame una de the should y una de shouldn't. I should work in the break rooms. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't talk in the class. Thank you, Carla. So, guys, y cuando fui a los break rooms, les dije, vamos a hacer esta actividad en los break rooms. Y se van a hacerla individuales. Y digo yo, ¿para qué los mando a un break room? <laughs> hacer una actividad grupal. <laughs> ¿Cómo? ¿Hay like what? Ok, let's go with the attendance, que ya nos vamos. Ana Gladys Moraga Rodríguez. Thank you. No me he llave, fíjate, yo creo que no eché. Vaya a revisar si he hecho llave, dígame. Beatriz y Emilet Lucero Pérez. I'm here. Ok. Concepción de Los Ángeles Quintanilla. Hazel Ruth Melara Rivera. I'm here. Ok. José Arnoldo Corea Jovel. I'm here. Karen Estela Nieto Rodríguez. Carla Patricia Pineda López. I'm here. Katia Gabriel Hernández García. I'm here. Luz Angélica Muñoz Bustillo. Luz Angélica. Uh, I'm here. Ok. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. I'm here. I'm here. Ok. Apaga el micrófono, se lo voy a olvidar. Mario Sergio Sánchez Sánchez. I'm here. Eh, Marisela del Carmen Velázquez Diasis. 
Nelson René Guevara Castro. I'm here, teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrientos Chinchilla. I'm here, teacher. Rina Aura Espinosa de Acuña. I'm here. Sara Ivette González García. I'm here. Sonia Yamil. Sonia Yanet, ya mira, le iba a decir, mire. Sonia Yanet Martínez de Orellana. I'm here. Ok. Um, Stephanie de la Paz, Elaya Serpas. I'm here. Tomás Ivette Ramírez Castillo. I'm here. Judy Araceli Cuellar de Hernández. I'm here. Daisy Yesenia Mezquita Martínez. I'm here. Iris Joana Cañas Morales. I'm here. José Mario Cruz Ramírez. Zulma Lorena López Rodríguez. Okay, so that will be it for today, guys, and I will see you tomorrow. I'm just going to stay with Nelson, right? Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Yeah, Have bye. a good night. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Okay, Nelson. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. Very Fine. good. Fine. Very good. I'm doing good too. Um, repeat, please. I'm good. I'm good too. Ah, también. Ah, okay. Excellent. Excellent. Uh -huh, okay. A ver, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo se sienten las clases, Nelson? Acomodándome un poco porque venía de. Siento que a veces me cuesta el, el conectarme a la hora estipulada porque por mi trabajo vengo oh. un, poco, un poco tarde. Entonces, hay veces como que no le hay el hilo, ¿verdad? pero más sin embargo en, en los back, en los grup, grupos, ahí nos tratamos de... Como de agarrar el hilo. ¿eh? Exacto, de agarrar el hilo. Perfecto. ¿Y de qué trabaja? Uh -huh. Ah, en un banco. Ah, por eso. Uh -huh. Hasta que saque el cierre. No, no tenemos hora de salida. Exacto, exacto. Yo sé cómo Ajá, son los bancos. Hasta sí, que sí. saque el cierre no sale. Exacto. Exacto. Bueno, mm, Nelson, sí, este, sí. en algún tema que tenga dudas, no, porque usted ya viene de los módulos anteriores, ¿verdad? Ha estado sí, en sí. anteriormente. Sí, tengo Ajá, de los dos módulos anteriores. Eh... Quiero ver, eso lo está viendo por acá. Fíjense que más que todo, lo que siento que me, me cuesta un poco sería como el, cómo entablar una, una conversación uh -huh. a la hora de, de iniciar, mejor dicho, una conversación. Eh, no hay como las palabras, quizás siento que me cuesta, me cuesta un poco el, el hallarle como el hilo, el, el hallarle el hilo a una conversación. Vaya, bueno, mire, primero que nada, sí, recuerde sí. que yo les decía que somos como bebés. Exacto. Somos bebés este, y entonces los bebés no hablan así como nosotros, ¿verdad? Todos sofisticados. Ajá. So, hablan con las palabras que, que se encuentren, right? La rebuscada. La, la, lo, el niño lo que se encuentre, ¿verdad? Así como pacha Ajá. o yo quiero, Ajá. mamá quiero, lo que sea, ¿verdad? So, the Ajá, same thing. Sí. Con lo que usted pueda comunicar Ajá. una idea, ya se va, ya se va acoplando, ¿verdad? Pero hay que salir un poquito de la zona de confort, buscar vocabularios, buscar este, uh -huh. hablar, lo, no importa cómo, but speak, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, cuando están uh -huh. en los break rooms, eh, hablar lo más que puedan en English, so, um, y esas cosas son las que van a ayudar. Pero darle una clave así como para uh -huh. mejorar el, las conversaciones, it, it, it's difficult, it's hard. Pero lo que sí oh. puede hacer es tomar en cuenta, por ejemplo, I don't know, eh, cómo lo diría en español y cómo lo puede decir en inglés, ¿verdad? Que es el método principal, que es la traducción, digamos. Mm -hmm. Y otra, eh, la que podría utilizar es como ver conversaciones, no sé si usted ve películas o series o lo que sea en, en inglés, que las trate de ver en inglés. Eh, series más que todo, pero sí. Quizás quizá sería, en verdad que sí, eso sería buena idea, el, el tratar de escuchar quizás música, dicen música en, también en ver, también a la hora de ver un programa, tratarlo de ver en, en inglés. En inglés, correct, porque mm -hmm. solamente mm -hmm. así le va a agarrar el hilo. O sea, tiene que rodearse de inglés lo más que pueda. Mm -hmm. 
-huh. Eso sí. ¿Algo más en lo que le pueda ayudar? Eh, no, 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 sí, todo por, lo demás, no, el por, tema de hoy lo entendió. Sí, sí, la verdad que sí. Okay. Sí, más cuando, más cuando lo mencionó con la estructura, ahí sí me queda, me quedó claro. Con estructuras es como que rápido se aprenden las exacto, cosas. Exacto, sí, exacto, sí. Se me hace como un poquito más fácil aprender la. Uh -huh. Porque van siguiendo una regla. Exacto, sí. Uh -huh. Exacto. Por la regla. Bueno, uh -huh. si no hay nada más en lo que le pueda ayudar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí. ¿No? Nada. Ok, excelente, muy bien. Have a good night then, Nelson. Thank you. Ok, bye bye. Uh, ok.